Many people aren't aware of the potential for developing lymphedema after reproductive cancers. Cancers involving the uterus, the cervix, the ovaries, even bladder cancer can result in lymphedema of the genital region or the lower extremity. So what can you do if you have genital lymphedema? Whether you're a man or a woman, there are swell spots that can be used or fibrosis inserts that can be used under compression. In the case of women, that would be considered something like this Genifed pad. This is a pad that's made by Biocare and uh, that company is now owned by Sigveris. This product is called the Genifit. So you can see the shape of it here. It's got an insert that goes between the legs against the labia. And then this part goes towards the bottom of the abdomen. This is the low cut version. You can get compression pads that go up higher on the abdomen if that's needed. Another option for helping the swelling is complete decongestive therapy. So if you have compression, that's one component for complete decongestive therapy. Another component is manual lymph drainage. Best results um, are had when you use all of the components of complete decongestive therapy. Manual lymph drainage is important because it helps to decongest the area that's swollen and congested, rerouting the fluid to healthy lymphatic vessels so that that fluid can drain. So for someone who has had bladder cancer and has had lymph nodes removed from the inguinal region or from the lower abdomen, what would manual lymph drainage look like? Let's take a look at the drainage sequence that you would use and then let's also take a look at the technique. Manual lymph drainage is a part of complete decongestive therapy, but it may be overlooked when there is lymphedema in the genital region. There is, however, a sequence that can be done to soften tissue, reduce swelling, and improve lymphedema in this area. There are a few different lymphedema training schools and variations of manual lymph drainage, including dry brushing and stroking the skin. These variations are a simpler approach and may be effective, but I haven't found any research to support them as it pertains to lymphedema treatment. If you feel that they're helpful, you can use those methods and apply them to the sequences I'm going to show you using the Vodder method. There is research that supports this method, and I'll link it in the description. Dr. Emil Vodder is recognized as the founder of MLD, manual lymph drainage, and he combined it with three other components to make up complete decongestive therapy. It's a light two-way skin stretch designed to open the initial lymphatic vessels that sits close to the skin surface. MLD, according to Vodder, should be a slow, rhythmic, gentle massage with light pressure. It has several benefits, including relaxation, reducing pain, and stimulating lymphatic movement. There are times when the pressure may be more firm, such as when you're working on fibrosis, a harder tissue resulting from lymphedema progression, but the method should not cause redness. There are a few water techniques, and I'll show you one called a stationary circle. When using MLD for treatment, the purpose is to reroute lymphatic fluid out of congested areas where the lymph system isn't working properly, and to move it into areas that are healthy and can process the fluid. Our example is for someone who has had bladder cancer, lymph node removal in the lower pelvic or inguinal area, and they have a scar along the lower abdomen. They have not had radiation, but MLD can be performed in radiated areas as long as the physician is in agreement. It's recommended that the genital area be properly cleaned using a medicated body wash or product that is mildly acidic and approved by your doctor. It's also recommended that you wear disposable gloves when working in this area. You want to inspect the skin for signs of infection or wounds. If symptoms of infection are present, you need to notify the doctor and wait for approval before doing this massage. You want to avoid working on or immediately near an open wound and again, be sure that your doctor has approved you doing the massage. For manual lymph drainage, we're going to start just above the collarbone. That's where your lymphatic fluid drains back to the venous angle and to the cardiovascular flow. Using two fingers just above the collarbone in this uh, indentation area called a fossa. It's called the supraclavicular fossa because it is supra or just above the clavicle. So you do five repetitions, stretching the skin down and in towards the way that you want it to drain. And then you'll repeat that sequence three times. So roughly 15 repetitions is what you end up doing. This method should be gentle, slow, and rhythmic. So you want to create this rhythm using a stretch every second or so. Very relaxing. All right, so that is uh, the Vodder method. There is another Vodder method that has a different techniques, also based on the Vodder approach. Their technique is using a flat hand, and this may be easier for some people to, um, to get the hang of. With a two-way stretch, it's really important to make sure that you're not stretching the skin up 
or out to the side, but you're stretching it down and in towards the way that you want it to drain. That's the pressure phase, and then you have a relaxation phase where the skin rebounds to its resting position. If you use that technique, be sure that your fingernails have been trimmed. You don't want fingernails digging into the skin. That would definitely not be relaxing. All right, so for this other technique, your hand would be flat. You have contact with more skin surface, and you're gonna stretch the skin in and down. So very similar, you're just going a different way with the stretch. So stretching the skin in and down with a flat hand. One, two, three, four, and five. You would repeat this three times, three sets of five, so 15 times total. Once this area has been stimulated, we've kind of jump-started the lymphatic system, you want to go down and do some deep breathing. You're going to take a deep breath in. You can press your hand against the belly button area, the abdomen. To give some resistance, take a deep breath in. And exhale. And give a little bit of compression when you exhale. Diaphragmatic breathing is beneficial because you have compression against the thoracic duct, which is the largest lymphatic vessel in the body. This duct um, drains the majority of lymphatic fluid, everything below the belly button and the left side of the body. So it's a good area to try to stimulate when you're doing your manual drainage sequence. Again, I would do about 15 total repetitions, three sets of five, and give a little resistance to the abdomen as you exhale. You want to breathe in for four to five seconds and exhale twice as long, so eight to ten seconds. The deep breathing is, is actually pretty relaxing by itself, so anytime you feel stressed, work on your deep breathing. It helps to calm um, the heart rate, to lower your blood pressure, and to give you a more relaxed feeling.